Hey guys, this is my quick blast guide for the Mechagon Workshop in Season 4 of Shadowlands of Mythic Plus. First boss is Tussle Tonks. You have the two bosses here. No Mercy for you and the Platinum Pummeler. The DPS in the group need to kill No Mercy for you while the tank kites the Platinum Pummeler under the piston smashes around the room to remove its stacks of Platinum plating so you can actually kill it. No Mercy For You is going to be casting a nasty ability called Vent Jets throughout the fight where he focuses on one member of the group. So if you get focused, kite him away from everyone else while everyone else stays away from the fire jets coming out of its sides. Everybody will take damage, but if you're too close, you'll just die. So healers beware. Maybe use some cooldowns during this part. You need to watch out for the buzzsaws that fly around the room. They do only cause small damage but have a knockback effect so you can be ping-ponging around the saws and getting smacked into the bombs and all sorts. It could get nasty so try and dodge them as best you can. Also the Platinum Pummeler is going to cast a whirlwind type ability every so often so make sure you stay well clear of that. Once the tank has successfully removed all of the stacks from the Platinum Pummeler, stack the two bosses and cleave them down. Next boss is KUJO, which is a mechanical dog. Boxes are going to drop down one at a time throughout the fight. Don't get hit by them as they fall. Everyone's going to need to use the box to hide behind when the boss casts his ability called Venting Flames. The tank needs pretty much instantly to spell in when they get Blazing Chomp on them. That happens after every time the Venting Flames is over. Keep in mind though, dispelling it does cause damage, so make sure they aren't low health. Move away from your teammates if you get targeted with Explosive Leap and be careful you don't stand in the path of a box or else the boss will destroy it as he does the leap and you won't have a hiding spot for the venting flames. Also, don't stand near a box when it starts glowing orange because it will explode shortly and cause a ton of damage, probably death. The next boss is Head Machinist Spark Flux in the Machinist Garden. You want to dodge the saw blades that are flying around the area continuously. Kill the inconspicuous plant as it causes heavy damage to whoever it targets. Stun it as much as possible. Don't stand in the swirlies on the ground. And when hidden flame cannon starts, move out of the fire lasers or face death. It's pretty much just a dodging fight. Final boss is King Mechagon in phase one. He'll be flying around on a little spaceship, I want to say. Stay away from the blue plasma orbs and move out of their path when they shoot across the room. You can see where they're going by the directional arrows on the ground. If you get hit by them, you'll take a bunch of damage and get knocked back. If you get targeted by Gigazap, move away from everybody else. Run away from the cutting beam when he takes off and keep dodging the plasma orbs. There'll be a brief transition where everyone gets stunned and then King Mechagon will jump into the Omega Buster on the other side of the room. It's the same mechanics as Phase 1, but he's going to be casting three Giga Zaps in a row. Stay spread out if you can to minimise the group damage. When the boss casts Magneto Arm, you need to run out against the pushback and pop a defensive if you can, as it is a high damage ability. The closer you are to the arm, the more damage you'll take. Keep dodging the plasma orbs throughout this phase as well, and once King Mechagon jumps out of the Omega Buster, quickly finish him off. Job done! Good luck! Thanks for watching this video, I hope it was helpful in some way. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe for more videos. All my links are in the description below. Bye!